Chevrolet debuted the C8 Corvette Coupe in a massive Zeppelin hangar, which is a pretty cool location for a reveal. And they might have topped that tonight by launching the C8 convertible in the Kennedy Space Center Rocket Garden. Of course, Corvette has always had a strong link with astronauts. Astronauts have been driving Corvettes pretty much as long as there have been astronauts. We are surrounded by rockets, Corvettes, and astronauts. And as one astronaut so deftly put it, you can't swing a dead cat tonight without hitting one. We are in the company of some very cool cars and some very cool people. Now the C8 Corvette convertible behind me isn't exactly full of surprises, but that's a good thing. The coupe, as we remember, started at 60,000 US. The convertible, for all you wondering, starts at 67.5 US. And as Corvette chief engineer Ted Uchter says, it's a pretty darn good deal for a folding hardtop. It is a folding hardtop, there is no soft top available, and the designers have worked hard to make the convertible look cohesive standing next to the coupe. Part of what they've done is make these nacelles behind the front passenger headrest, which kind of reminiscent of some early Corvette prototypes, and if you believe them, some rocket design. Why not? Other challenges with the convertible involve some cooling. Now, the convertible version has some different vents cut out of the rear tonneau, but it will still fit two sets of golf clubs. Acceleration times, well, the coupe does it in a hair under three seconds. This one, Chevrolet says it will do it in around three seconds. So not a massive difference because it still has that 490 horsepower V8 making it the most powerful Corvette base model ever. As for availability, well, production will be starting in the first quarter of next year. In addition to the C8 convertible, Chevrolet also revealed the C8R race car. <laughs> which is a full race car that you will see on the Petit Le Mans circuit this coming year. It sounds awesome, but I'm pretty sure it has no mufflers at all. No numbers have been provided for the C8R in terms of weight and horsepower, but I think it's safe to assume it's pretty fast. For Driving.ca at the Kennedy Space Center, I'm Clayton Seams.